Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own face and body cleansing towelettes while you travel. I've been looking for natural cleansing towelettes for a while now and even the natural ones have really really harsh preservatives in them and they're really really expensive. So I came up with a little recipe to show you guys that it could be really cheap, easy, it doesn't need to have a load of preservatives in them. It's going to work for both your face and for your pits and your privates when you travel because I'm going to be traveling for 16 hours and 30 minutes and chances are I'm probably going to get stinky so I'm going to show you guys how you can make these nice little cleansing wipes to keep yourself fresh. Okay, so here is all the materials that you're going to need. You're basically only going to need um, three main things, um, including a bowl and a spoon. So what you're going to need is a pack of tissues. Just be sure that they are really, really sturdy because you don't want them breaking apart. You're going to need either rose water, which I have right here, or you could totally use just regular water, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating with. And you're going to need an essential oil of some kind. I'm using lavender oil just for simplicity and also it's a really really gentle one so lavender oil and um, yeah that's about all you're gonna need. My personal choice is rose water because it's naturally antibacterial and antifungal so it's gonna help to get you clean in just a little bit of a deeper way than just regular water but that's okay because that's what we have the essential oil for but this is going to give it a little bit of an added potency and also um, I'm going to be using the rose water for my face because it's really really good for your face. It's rich in flavonoids and has loads of vitamins and like I said it's anti it's antibacterial so it's going to help cleanse your face. For demonstration purposes I'm going to start with just the water and what you're going to do is you're just going to put a tablespoon of water in the bowl and literally I'm going to be doing this one wipe at a time so I'm just going to put one drop of essential oil in for now to be careful because they fall out kind of fast so there's one drop and then what you're going to want to do is get your your tissue ready and then stir it all together. Um, you probably won't be able to see it on camera so I'm not going to bother but in person when you do this you'll see that the essential oil doesn't mix with the water and that it's going to um, be in like one big ball. What you want to do is just make sure that you can see the essential oil kind of separate and go throughout the water so just mix it around and then stick it in there until it absorbs all the water. And um, another thing that I wanted to say is um, the reason we are using essential oils is because they are highly antibacterial, antifungal, and in fact antiviral as well. So these are really potent so you're only going to want to use about one drop per wipe and then yeah you're going to want to flip it over and wait for it to absorb everything. This is what your wipe should look like when you've completed. You don't want it to be too wet that it's like dripping like right at the start. You just want it to be like moist and usable. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take all the tissues out of the packet because this is going to be our little travel packet for our travel wipes. And then you're going to put it in your packet. And it shouldn't be too difficult to do. And yes, it will stay moist. It will stay moist the whole time. I would recommend making these wipes no more than 24 hours before your flight because these don't have any preservatives in them and only make as much as you and only make as much as you're going to need because these don't have any preservatives in them so they will probably go bad a little bit fast even though like I said lavender oil is naturally antibacterial but still just try to use them within the first week after you make them. And I'm going to be making about I don't know, I'm probably going to make about eight of these and put them all in a pack. And um, yeah, but like I said, I'm going to be using the rose water, but it does totally work with regular water. Something that I'm actually going to bring also with me on the flight is my face brush. And I pretty much have been using only this to cleanse my face for a while and I've been getting really good results. It's just a really, really soft face brush and I've been using it every single day. And you're just going to want to exfoliate your face. And this is going to help kind of um, you know, stimulate blood flow and get a lot of the dead skin off. But also it's not going to damage your skin because it's so soft, the bristles. You don't have to do this. Um, and then what I would do, then what I'm probably going to do on the plane is I'm going to take my cleansing pad, I'm going to unfold it, and I'm just going to wipe my face off. Just like so. Another thing you could do is you could completely unfold it and do yourself a favor while you travel. 
because the airplane air is obviously not very good for your skin. You just want to be really careful and really slow. Open it all the way. And then you can stick it on your face. Like that. And if you want to see, um, you can like poke some holes in there, I'm sure. It's no big deal. And then you could just leave it on your face for like 15 minutes and you'll be doing your skin a huge favor while you travel. And then how you would use them to, you know, clean your armpits is pretty obvious. You just want to like scrub, scrub your armpits really good with these. I do want to add that if you are going to use these um, in the private area, it's because lavender oil is incredibly antibacterial, it's not going to sting, but you want to make sure you don't add more than one drop of essential oil. Essential oils naturally have alcohol inside of them so that's why it'll kind of give you um, a slight warming sensation down there but it goes away after five seconds if you only use one drop of essential oil but I promise it's safe, it's effective, it's gentle, it, it's just gonna have a very very slight warming for like five seconds. So yeah that's how you make your own face and body towelettes. It's really easy. Put it in your carry-on and you can use it whenever you want to. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, let me know how it works works for you. This is definitely what I'm going to be doing while I travel on the plane. The only difference is I will actually be using rose water as opposed to just regular water, but it totally works with regular water. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all having a really, really good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!